Hello buddy, welcome to this episode of Fish and Grows. Today we're going to be highlighting the Paniola Wax. This is a custom made 32 inch height, a 22 inch shallow disc wok. It's great for fried rice, fried noodles. Today we're going to be doing a surf and turf fried noodle dish. Hope y'all stick around. This episode of Good, start adding in our meats. And we have some leftover pork. Yeah, so this is the leftover meat from this weekend's barbecue. So, a good way to put everything together. Fry it up, add some noodles to it. Already, let's check it out.
down. Shout out to Pineola Walks. The best walks in the market, hands down today. Evenly cooked everything. This yakisoba came out so delicious. Roger that. The, his link is gonna be in our description. His website is linked to his bio. Go check him out. We had a blast. Good times, good grinds, and good people. And always, stay tuned for the next episode of Fishing Grills. Gee! All right. So the fire, fire is on low right now. So we want to heat up the pan. Yes. So what are we gonna do after the pan heats up? Uh, add a little water. Use the chainmail scrub. Just break off all the things that stuck on it. And after that, we're gonna wipe it off away with a paper towel mm -hmm. or the rag. So you don't use soap and water and bad for seasoning. <laughs> Why don't you want to use soap and water on walks? Uh, soap breaks down oils, and that's what literally seasoning is made out of. Like uh, most people use seasoning as a canola canola oil or uh, other kinds of fatty like uh, fatty things that create a nice non-stick coating on your on metal surfaces. Most often in cast iron. And why do you want it to have it um, seasoned all the time? To get that non-stick feeling. Non-stick feeling, yep. okay. So, and to keep the rust away? Yes, and it also acts as a protective from, from it rusting. Okay. Cool. Right. Yep, perfect. And then does the heat get rid of the bacteria then? It kind of does. Does it? This part, we add a seasoning. Okay, so this is canola oil, most common one used. These people like to use flaxseed and some other uh, cooking types of oils, but this is the easiest to get. So, put a quick thin layer. Grab a towel. Create a nice glow around it. Now create a nice thin layer. And increase the heat a little until it starts about to smoke. Right, so just watch it. So you see, you see it start to, start to kind of like burn it a little, start to smoke. And then after that, you just turn it off and let it sit. It's good to go. And that's how you do the seasoning.